Close to two dozen American embassies across the Muslim world will be closing in response to this new terror threat from al-Qaeda. Let's get it over now to ABC's Nick Schifrin, who's on the ground in Cairo, Egypt. Nick, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Dan. One of those embassies being closed is right there behind me. And this morning, the threat is alarming and the reaction unprecedented. Every single embassy that's meant to be open tomorrow will be closed as security ramped up. This morning, U.S. officials say the threat is active and credible. The officials tell ABC News they detected specific threats to Western targets in Muslim countries, embassies, consulates, even this Yemen hotel. That's led to more embassy closures than after 9-11, not only here in Cairo, but embassies 5,000 miles apart from Algeria to Bangladesh. It is more specific, and we are taking it seriously, um, which I think you'd expect us to do. Yeah, there, there is a, a significant threat stream, and we're reacting to it. In Cairo, the embassy is totally barricaded, hidden behind these stones. And across the region, there's an additional 500 Marines to respond to any attack. Those are new resources since the Benghazi siege on the anniversary of 9-11. Just 600 miles from Cairo, militants overran the consulate. They burned it down and killed four Americans, including the ambassador. Today's threat is from these fighters, Al-Qaeda in the Arab Peninsula, and the most wanted man in the world. 31-year-old Ibrahim al-Asiri built the underwear bomb. He built explosives into printer cartridges and on cargo planes, nearly impossible to detect even after authorities knew where to look. I, I live with caution, but I don't live under a guise of fear at all times. But despite the threats, I, I Aaron Mack isn't hiding. Uh, He's studying thing, at the American University in Cairo. He's determined to finish his program. We're at least trying to be uh, cautious about these things. Uh, we take threats seriously. We take anything that could uh, threaten the safety of Americans seriously. And this morning, a senior U.S. official tells me they learned of the threat by intercepting messages sent between senior al-Qaeda leaders. And this morning, they're concentrating all their intelligence and security here and across the region, Biana hoping to avert a threat.